There are some accusations that members of the Paralympics are using something known as scrotum squeezing oh. in order to get a competitive edge in some of the races. Okay, so for those of you who are wondering what the hell is scrotum squeezing, well, we're going to show you. No, we're not going to show you. But today is the first day that I've heard of that, and it's fascinating how it works and how long it's been utilized and how long it's been banned. I thought it was a sex thing. Mm -hmm. I did too. I thought it was going to be fun, but no, it's not fun. So uh, Rio Paralympics uh, is saying that they are planning on stopping um, the competitors from doing this because they're risking their health by sitting on their scrotums or clamping off catheters to fill their bladders in order to boost adrenaline and performance. Now this has been banned for more than a decade. It does not use any artificial stimulants. Instead, it involves tricking the brain into triggering um, something known as AD, causing the body to flush with adrenaline to achieve more power and greater oxygen <laughs> uptake during the races. Now this is a very unsafe thing to do because it increases your blood pressure considerably. So what happens is your blood pressure increases and you put yourself at severe risk of a stroke or a heart attack or yeah. something like that. So um, not only is it cheating because you're getting this unfair um, you know, advantage over the other competitors, you're also putting your own life at risk. Now research shows deliberately induced AD can enhance athletic performance by as much as 10%, especially in endurance events such as long distance wheelchair races. Yeah. This is fascinating stuff. And I'd like to try it, it out. <laughs> I mean, it, Go it, right ahead. It, increase, it increases performance by 10%. No, I, I say that because I do genuinely believe that it's ridiculous to ban all performance-enhancing drugs and supplements of the sort. I think it would make the sport much better if it was openly allowed because currently everyone uses, to some level, PEDs. And we just don't see the ones that don't get caught. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just the way it is. Well, Every new ones are being developed constantly. I know, yeah. but yeah. If, you're, if you're an athlete and you're now in this, like, Wild West situation where everyone can take whatever they want, then you feel pressure to put these drugs in your body when you don't necessarily want to put these drugs are already in your body. But people are already I know, pressured. And they, and they yeah, get but caught. They, they're right? putting less than they would if it was all no, legal. No, but if it was regulated and if it was all legal, one, it would make it all these sports better and more interesting. I don't know, man. I 100% agree with that. I, and it's not even that ridiculous. Athletes' blood would just be one big red engorged blood cell through their veins. Like yeah, they yeah, pump just, themselves full of so I, many I, things. I think that it puts athletes who don't want to put these drugs in their bodies at an unfair advantage. They're going to be pressured and forced into but doing go, it the way to get I that competitive is, edge. And I don't think that's a good if idea. If you don't want to get concussed, if you're worried about concussions, you stay out of the NFL. If yeah. you don't want to use steroids, stay out of the NFL. Are you insane? I, really? I'm 100% <laughs> like, I'm serious. I think they should have swords on the field. Oh, I think, no. wait, would yeah. make it way better. If you want to you do know, it, then I you should. I think we should get rid of all protective gear yes. when it comes to it football. Actually it's going to gonna make injury. it it's going to make it more interesting though. No, it actually no, leads I know, to less I know. injury when the protective gear is taken I know, out. I know, I know, I know, I know. Rugby has less concussions. There you go. I don't yeah. think that football it. would be safe. Um I, I am not in favor of uh banning or lifting the ban I on think performance it makes, I think drugs. sports are dangerous as it is and you understand the risks and you get involved in it regardless then I think you should be entertaining, especially considering everyone already does it. I and think you the football field should have a couple of pits where, like, if lions. somebody fumbles, lions come out. 100%. And they, they go for the ball. So that so would I'm be being exciting. totally serious. I think that I'm, would make I, it more entertaining. I will, uh, who cares about if it makes it more entertaining? Like, exactly. I, I don't want to put exactly. people's lives at risk or, or kind of pressure them into doing People unhealthy already things putting themselves to entertain at risk. me. We have boxing for that. Uh, what I like about this story is that I, I think stupidly, and I think a lot of people probably believe this, we look at the people who compete in the Paralympics and think that for some reason they're less bloodthirsty than athletes who aren't in the Paralympics. Right. But I like this because it shows that they are just as willing to do anything, destroy yeah. their body, destroy their future, to get a ribbon or something like that. Or probably the gigantic amount of like ad dollars. I don't think this is that I, don't so think I think that's awesome. Yeah. And I don't think this is that crazy, but there there are instances where like really messed up things have happened in the Paralympics. Like in the 2000 Paralympics, where the Spanish team yeah. actually had uh, 10 out of all their all their 12 basketball players test with higher IQs than 70, and they hadn't tested their athletes at all, and that's why they had an incredibly unfair advantage in the in the on the basketball court. Wait, like, that's what? messed up. Yeah, the, the people who naturally have a higher IQ. No, 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 no. Well, it's the it's the Paralymp uh, It's technically the Special Olympics, so oh, it has the Special to be, so Olympics. You have, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you have okay. to have someone have an IQ 
uh, that's under 70 okay. in order to be able to compete. I thought you were talking about the Paralympics. No. And I was like, I think they're special just as smart as anybody yeah. else. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got a little I was a bit confused there. Okay, so some Sorry, of you might sorry. be wondering no, how officials plan on enforcing this ban on scrotum squeezing. They're planning on testing their blood pressure uh, prior to them competing. And if you have unreasonably high blood pressure, well, it's usually an indication that you're doing something.